just make sure we're live and to do. Okay. Just wait, I can hear audio through the Twitch. Second, can I hear myself? Oof. Second, can I hear myself? Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Uh, and of course, welcome back to another uh, Slytherin stream. Uh, and of course, we are here yet again uh, with headquarters. It's been a fantastic couple of days with release uh, and, you know, overwhelmingly positive. Uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you have not, of course, follow uh, Slip on all the social medias, uh, please do. So we are here and, and it's really uh, fantastic to be here again. Uh, we, of course, uh, have, have managed uh, to uh, bring a multiplayer game uh, for live for everybody on Twitch to see. So hopefully people are filling up the Twitch stream as we're talking. And, of course, we are here with the Lead Dev uh, Alexander, am I, am, I, am I pronouncing that right or is that wrong? <laughs> oh, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Alexander. Yeah, uh, I'm happy to be here. And tonight we're going to play a multiplayer game. I know we was uh, playing this stream last night. People were talking about multiplayer games uh, and we decided to hopefully tonight to get together uh, and of course uh, try and not get embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> So, Alexander, what you, what's your plans for this game? Uh, well, I will try very hard to win, of course. <laughs> so, uh, I did get shamed last yesterday by Mark, but not buying transports. <laughs> I, 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 I was there listening and I was thinking, yep, transports, transports were bad. <laughs> well, good. Sorry, yeah. the transports are good. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's actually uh, true. Uh, like uh, in the game right now, uh, it, it, they are really important for um you know rapid troop deployment and since uh battling for uh you know for control of notifications it's uh critical that you have your troops there fast so that's why uh and you know you don't have enough prestige here to buy some more expensive and more mobile units and then it's risky to send them without infantry cover so that's why uh, having some, uh, you know, troops with uh, trucks that are highly mobile is really important to get those uh, key points fast and increase your income and then get more units and so on. I, I, so. I found it quite interesting with the transports as well. Once you're done with them, um, you could just bring them back to your deployment to just yeah. pick, pick other troops up. And then just mm -hmm. keep recycling the transports rather once you've got your troops to a, a valuable position. Yeah, that's true. Once you reach some some number of transports, you can sort of run them back and forth. But of course, sometimes you would also lose them in an ambush or you know in battle. But they would also offer a little bit of extra protection to the troops, so uh, they still uh, are quite uh, valuable in that regard. So uh, it's still worth uh, doing that, even if you lose a couple of uh, trucks, you know. Fantastic. Uh, so this is probably my second multiplayer game. So this is going to be interesting yeah. to see uh, how this pans out. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. And uh, you've set uh, quite a low like starting prestige. So we start with little troops and we need to, you know, grow our troops bit by bit by uh, conquering other uh, key locations and increasing our income. So right now we get uh 400 prestige points uh per turn for our uh hq location and then we would get extra 200 per turn for every uh key point we control so it's really important uh, you know to get those uh points and uh, try to hold them so i'm just scanning the map to see if you captured your closest location mm. uh <laughs> Well, uh, in this game, you should be first to capture uh, because, uh, like, uh, you are uh, player one and I am player two, so uh, I should be like a half step behind, basically. So, um, but I've just uh, captured my uh, closest key point, uh, same as you, basically, and now we are moving towards uh, more further uh, ones, basically. Mm. 
that center objective is quite uh it's quite it's quite a hard position to defend i found yeah. the i found the line of sight positions on the center objective is a little bit skew with on the right uh, side from yeah well it's a bit tricky because there is a fence that's uh looking you know not so tall but it's actually affecting um a line of sight so um, basically it could be a bit tricky there Hello, mm. uh, uh, Serve eighty two. This is this is PvP. This is multiplayer versus the lead designer of headquarters. Uh, Alexander's here tonight. I, uh, yeah. I've dropped a message in the Discord today to see if I get anyone to come and join us tonight. Uh, and we're here. We're actually. Mm -hmm. This is this mm. is this is human on human. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So this is where I get absolutely uh, taken to the cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> well, who, what's your favorite nation in headquarters? Well, uh, to be honest, uh, I don't have a favorite. I mean, Germany does have a lot of interesting units, oh, uh, but, uh, you know, each each country has some interesting ones. For example, uh, like UK has a Sherman Firefly, which is like, a uh, Perman uh, passes, but uh, with a more powerful gun. So in terms of firepower, it's comparable like to the uh, top German tanks, but it's not as well protected basically, but it's uh, not as expensive as well. And uh, you can basically, if you do some mobile warfare, you can use fireflies to fight even like heavier tanks. Um, in terms of US, um, you know, it feels uh, a bit tricky right now because uh, we are sort of, uh, we were trying to mostly use units of like uh, this uh, summer uh, 1944 period. And that's why we sometimes couldn't add, you know, some later uh, war units like, you know, uh, the Persian tank or some like earlier units. So, uh, um, yeah, so we, we felt a little bit uh, limited by the time period of the Normandy landing that we highlight uh, in the game. But go. even then, I think, um, um, you know, all countries have some um, interesting units. But I would say that, you know, as allies are fighting together, they are more alike. So like uh, US and uh, UK have some, you know, troops in common and so on. Uh, while uh, Germany is a bit more uh, unique in that regard right now, so it stands out a little bit more. Uh, but then again, you know, um, G Germany are my favorite because they get all the they get all the nice tanks. <laughs> yeah, I I know that you know people love playing as Germany even in our like previous games we developed about World War Two and everything. You know, we know that uh, Ger Germany is really like popular as a nation for like. World War II, you know, strategy games type of scene, but um, yeah, so or if you like German tanks, you can always check it out, but you know, we, we were trying to keep things balanced, you know, and to have all uh, countries uh, be quite nice to play in a multiplayer setup, so everyone fairly represented, that's what I like to hear <laughs> yeah, well, I've got some recard, which is good <laughs> I've got to say, I got punished a little bit yesterday not using recon <laughs> as well as I should have. Yeah, I mean, um, well, uh, multiplayer is a bit different from, uh, you know, from the single player experience. So, uh, you know, you need to give it a try and play a couple of games, uh, like uh, before you, you know, uh, so, so you can grasp the ropes, but uh, you know, for everyone, for the benefit of everyone out here, I could just share some, um, you know, my experience playing it while we were, you know, play testing and uh, uh, designing the game. So I would say it, it could sound like really easy, but uh, it may not be so easy when you actually do that. So. I would say it's important to get uh, mobile troops uh, at the start to just quickly get some control over the key locations that you can uh, reach and then uh, gradually reinforce them, maybe get some artillery, maybe get some armor, you know, and, you know, like bit by bit uh, strengthen your hold uh, of uh, the locations you keep or like uh, increase the number of troops that storm some enemy locations. So. 
you know, you need to be fast at starts, uh, at, at, at the start, and then you need to sort of slowly grow from there, basically. I'm surprised how quickly you got a couple of the key points. Yeah, was... well, uh, yeah, I usually start with just sending, you know, uh, a few uh, trucks with the uh, infantry there, so. Yeah, so you, you, I've got so you should... I've got some uh, ground to cover really here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Tank ready. Ready to go. But you do control the middle one, so. AT gun awaiting orders. All right. Snipers ready. Aye, sir. I think this tactic should be fine. Ready to begin and, and you know, I am curious to know what what are your thoughts on the uh, spotting system and like visibility and game because it's quite tricky, but it's quite uh, interesting as well. So with the scouts, like, with the scout ability. Yeah, no, I, yeah, uh, but I mean in general, like I, how I you like it. see I, each other and everything. I like it because it doesn't give you it, it. If you could spot something quite easily, it would spoil the essence. Because I think a lot of strategy games rely on observation is quite important and there's a, I think there's a fair balance in making it not too easy to spot because if it's too easy to spot you're going to be you know where everything is and there's i think there's going to be a very little uh, uh very little point in not putting extra points or spending uh, you know prestige into getting more scouting i like the balance you've got here where it's not impossible but you've still got to think about it and invest overall effort into trying to spot things before you go to kill something and with the camouflage, yeah. I, I, I got I, it's a nice balance for me. Well, I, I'm really happy to hear that because you know uh, we were really uh, worried that uh, it might be you know a little bit too tricky because there are like several states you can fully see a unit, you can see on like a silhouette of a unit, so you know it's a truck or it's a vehicle or it's an infantry, but you don't know. I maybe can... it's a tiger tank maybe it's like self-propelled anti-aircraft gun and that would be two completely different units but you don't know for sure yeah I so for example now i can see a silhouette of your unit but i don't see you know what exactly that unit is yeah same here i can see one of your trucks it's just mm -hmm. an unknown unit for me i assume it's a truck i hope mm -hmm. it's a truck yeah well, with trucks, it's relatively easy because there is not so many units you can sort of mess them uh like uh uh, four because um you know there are not so many track like units in the game but with uh tank silhouette it's more tricky because it stands for all like armored and mm. like self-propelled units in the game so it really could be like a lightly armored uh, self-propelled aa gun or it could be oh i got into your ambush um i don't know if i hit you there either i think it said miss yeah, yeah, it just uh, did some damage to my morale, but uh, nothing too critical. Mm. Yeah, because, you know, my troops were in the forest, so it offers great protection. Uh, so it's really tough to get them there, basically. Is it what's the protection on a forest versus a building? Uh, it's uh, similar, I would say, but a uh, building could be uh, destroyed. So, for example, if... Uh, oh, you just got my uh, truck as well. Oh, I'm raking in the prestige kill points. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, basically... Um... What is that monstrosity coming down the road? <laughs> oh, I nearly got the third pip. Yeah. But that's my two reactions done, though, unfortunately. Yeah, well. Yeah, you still have one reaction, actually, so. I've got a question. So I've got a question yeah. off Steve82. It says, does the building provide more vision if there, if there be more holes in it for when it gets damaged? Does it? So does the building... I think he was trying to say, does the building... Uh, uh, have less defense when it's destroyed or does it provide yeah, the same cover? Yeah, so, so basically untouched building is similar to forest but when it gets to a half destroyed or like destroyed state um, then it's uh, not so good 
and also fully destroyed building. It still offers some cover and some protection, but it's uh, not so good. And it also doesn't block line of uh, fire any longer. So you can shoot over it, basically. Mm. Oh, expensive uh, half tracks. Yeah, I, I had to reinforce that one and pull it back to sort of keep it alive. Uh, I was hoping it could take the damage a little bit better, but uh, it didn't work out as well uh, as I would have liked. Hello, um, folks of the stream. If you've joined us tonight, we're playing a multiplayer game. Okay, it's over to you. It's nice to see the to and fro from a human opponent, and I, I always, mm. I'm always a great um, advocate of uh, playing against humans. Um, uh, which I've really liked because you get more uh, banter and, of course, more discussions about how things go, especially on Discord as we're talking now. Yeah, I would say it's uh, much more exciting and it's much more challenging as well. Uh, so, yeah. And, you know, it's much more rewarding because when you win against AI, you're like, well, you know, it's uh, AI, it's maybe not not uh, not so exciting like you could... Uh, play with it any time, but when you uh, win against other player, it uh, feels, you know, uh, more rewarding and more interesting. Oh, we did nothing against them in the woods. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of, like, uh, playing multiplayer as well, so I'm really happy that we could uh, implement it uh, in headquarters. Driving to coordinates. Here we go. And you know, we have different types uh, of multiplayer, so we are now playing live, like seeing each other turns and playing it in one go, but there is also play by email, so if some uh, players don't have a lot of time, you know, to sit down for an hour or two, um, they can always, like, play some PBM games, uh, so, oh, just... <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to yeah. get out of the way of uh, of, of yeah. some targets I can see I can mm. I can currently see some uh, rangers uh, I think they're rangers with the yeah. two knives yes they are two rangers I can see a half track and some silhouette of some un, 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 unarmored well sorry uh, unknown uh, armored vehicle behind uh, yeah yeah that's basically the one I pulled back after it got uh, ambushed by your machine gun fire just a couple of questions in the uh, in the Twitch. You got one. It would be good to see some DLCs, uh, Eastern Front Pacific, and also another question was: uh, In what engine is HQ built? Yeah. So, uh, well, for DLCs, uh, you know, um, I just invite everyone to sort of go to the like Steam community hub or like Slytherin forums or Discord for the game. You know, and share your thoughts, share your suggestions, because up until now we've been working, you know, on releasing the game and uh, we still work on polishing it, you know, fixing some um, bugs and everything. Like, I know there are a couple of annoying issues right now that we are uh, planning to deliver a fix for uh, next week. So uh, we just made the announcement about today that, you know, we are working and we, we are hard at work to... Uh, deliver the fixes ASAP. Uh, so, and we also gather a lot of feedback and we see a lot of room for improvement for the game. So, uh, if you have some ideas on like how to make uh, the core game better or, or like what you would like to see in a DLC or something, uh, share them with us and there is a high chance uh, we will implement them at some point uh, later down the road. Uh, right now, like DLC is not the main focus, but we can start gathering ideas at least, I think. So uh, that's uh, helpful if you share, because we want to do something you guys want to play, you know. Um, so yeah, it's definitely possible uh, what's mentioned, but you know, we need to hear more thoughts uh, before we commit to anything. And also about the engine, so the game uh, is created with uh, Unreal uh, Engine 4. So uh, it was quite helpful in terms of uh, visuals and everything. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you have any more questions on engine or like development, feel free to ask uh, and I'm happy to answer them. Uh, over to you. 
uh, original Twitch. I think that's a. I don't know if if uh, Alexander can answer that question about the slivering servers uh, for the games. I don't know if he has very much to do with that or not. Uh, what was the question? Uh, any plans to upgrade the existing servers for the slivering games? Uh, well, yeah, I don't think I'm the person to sort of comment on that uh, because uh, you know I I, I don't uh, direct like uh, of course we you know use them for the game so I'm in touch of course with the Slytherin team and their server team uh, but you know I'm not the person to sort of uh, give you insights into that. I've got a question, Alexander. So when your mm -hmm. tank drives over walls, it, does it destroy the walls and destroy yeah. the cover bonus yeah. you get? Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. Just, so, uh, just... so there are two ways to destroy them. One is like a shell the tile uh, to which a wall is like a tile edge and it would take some damage and eventually get destroyed. Maybe not with one hit, but maybe with several hits, depending on the uh, high explosive attack value of, of the attacks. But uh, if the tanks uh, run over something or other vehicles, they completely destroy it. Although uh, not all vehicles can run over any like walls. For example, if it's like a high stone wall, uh, only like the larger and more heavier uh, vehicles could do that. And some smaller ones wouldn't be able to run it over. Uh, we'll spin out with a question. Um, number per person asks, I would like to see the AI pepped up a bit since skirmish and building maps is important for me in terms of longevity. Yeah, well, uh, we, will, we are definitely uh, working on that. So um, we've already sort of upgraded it a bit uh, compared to like the initial like beta tests. Uh, but yeah, I see that it, you know, I see that it still could use some more work, definitely. Uh, so we'll see what we can do about that. But you know, it takes time uh, to improve it. So I wouldn't expect it to be like boosted like within the first couple of weeks uh, because it's where we would focus on, uh, you know, uh, some uh, more urgent things like fixing the crashes and maybe some. Um, quality of life improvements and stuff that uh, we can deliver fast basically oh it's so irritating can, this is, can, uh, yeah. i can't i'm trying to i'm trying to find your units and <laughs> it's very <laughs> it's it's i don't know if you can successfully find my units but i'm trying to now just scout where your troops <laughs> are where your tanks are and how i can yeah. counter them <laughs> hello grim Yo. harbinger how are you doing tonight like I said, folks, if you want to ask any questions, uh, please go ahead and uh, we'll try and answer them as much as possible. We're currently trying to hunt each other or some big tanks are going to come down the road and hurt me. I've, I've, I've currently hid my little jeep somewhere. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh... No, actually, I don't see it. But I'm not sure. I think I saw it until it came behind that uh, small building in the middle <laughs> of the map, and it's sort of hiding there. And I know that it cannot, you know, go uh, through because there is a, um, oh, is it, you know, a large it... object that blocks the path. So it's probably parked behind that building, but it's. Just, you know, my assumption on where I last saw that. So. And not all tanks can clear wreckage or push through stuff. So bear in mind, different tanks have different abilities. So some tanks can, you know, if a, droid, a destroyed vehicle can clear the wreckage, but some can't. So please do check the stats of the vehicle. Well, well just to clarify, like uh, not all tanks can like run over walls or some large things. But I think uh, all uh, vehicles can actually like clear wrecks usually. So. Oh, sorry, monk, uh, monk strap. I didn't mean to ignore your uh, question. Mm -hmm. He said he asked about will there be a workshop support. Uh, sorry. Will there be workshop support? Uh, well, that's something. Uh, that's one of the like uh, hottest topics right now, and we definitely want to do that. And you know, I cannot give you like an ETA, but it's like on the top of my like priorities list. So we'll be looking to add it like basically as soon as we can. Oh, that was a nice little overwatch from me. I, 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 yeah. You see, this is the uh, point of, uh, you know, scouting. I can't see what damage. Uh, I assume I did three pips of damage on that because I saw a t I saw a hit, two hit mm -hmm. and then a graze. Yeah. My little honey doing some damage. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, good work there. Uh, basically lost that tank duel, but I kept the tank so I could potentially uh, reinforce it in a couple of turns and bring it back unless you find a way to sort of finish it off. The Willis Jeep's going to charge in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm just trying to think... Uh, what what's the longest so the artillery guns as like the sexton and i'm not entirely sure what the americans have or the priest what are they both have 20 range here yeah they got to both 20 range so they're both the same yeah. is that the max yeah. is that the max yeah. range of a mobile artillery piece or is does the static ones have large range no i think right now it's uh 20 for artillery uh because it basically covers most of the map, but, you know, we don't want to cover it like exactly entire map or something. Mm -hmm. So you still need to move it within some range to uh, attack and uh, everything. Chapin, so, chap, you, chapin. You know, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, chap. well, technically, technically they would both be like uh, covering this entire map, you know, but uh, we did need some gameplay uh, reasoning here as well, because, you know, it's not very fun when a unit can fire on any tile on the map, regardless of like map size and everything. So uh, that's why uh, artillery has uh, a little bit limited range. Uh, but of course, we have HQ skill uh, artillery for like uh, of the map artillery support as well. I'm getting hounded on the Twitch chat. Everybody, I use uh, everything's a scout vehicle, and everything's a mine detector. <laughs> <laughs> just, just once though. Yeah. I suppose you do feed uh, kill points to your enemy as well if you're going to feed them uh, transports or try to take reaction fire. Well, transports. yeah, but that only matters if you play for a turn limit victory uh, because otherwise score is just, you know, basically something to brag about. But uh, to use it as a win condition, you need to uh, run out of turns, basically. And since... Uh, we are now playing without turn limit. It's more important to keep control of the flags and, you know, to get those 40 victory points fast. What what uh, I've noticed as well, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Alexander, is um, do AA vehicles actually target uh, planes that come in or not? Because I've not experienced that yet in this game. Yeah, uh, well, basically they intercept uh, aircraft when you use HQ skills on your enemy, but within their range. So if, for example, they are too far, they wouldn't be able to do it, but they have around uh, 10 tiles range, so it's quite reasonable. I see that, because that, I've not experienced it yet, having mm -hmm. an AA vehicle near a... Uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, Beam Sam's uh, mentioned, is artillery spot is util utilized or can artillery hit anywhere without observation? Uh, no, artillery can hit anywhere without observation. However, there is one uh, mechanic that reduces its effectiveness because uh, there are basically three states of spotting as we discussed before. And uh, if you fully see a unit, you have no accuracy penalty against it. If you see a silhouette of a unit, you would lose 25% uh, of your accuracy. And if you don't see a unit at all and you somehow fire on it, then you lose 75% of your accuracy. So artillery could shell blindly, let's say, but uh, they would most likely miss and damage do damage to morale. And with some low chance, they might uh, do a graze or something to, be, to do a little bit of damage. But you cannot just, you know, easily kill all the units with blind shots. I've just shown them that where I try to artillery a unit I can see, I can see a silhouette of, but mm. I can't I can't see anything else but a silhouette. Mm. Tank standing by. Oh. The poor Willie's Jeep is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> I I like there. He's stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, he can't. That you're right. That um, that kind of oil drum. Locked its pass. Yeah. Oh. Fresh troops have arrived. So let me just clarify, there is no way mm -hmm. to reinforce a unit without the HQ reinforceability. Yeah. Show us where you need us. 
So we usually have it in uh, all uh, campaign maps and in skirmish and multiplayer, it's entirely up to the players, but I would suggest, uh, you know, playing with it. And uh, sometimes you could play without it. And it's, you know, it's quite challenging because you've lost a couple of, uh, you know, people on your unit's crew and you can, you, you are never getting them back. So it stays with you like that for the rest of the match. And so, you know, it's much more uh, punishing. It makes the game like a bit more, you know, like cal even more calculating and everything. So, you know, uh, whoever, whatever you like more, like I, I normally I would prefer to play with a reinforcement uh, option. But, you know, sometimes it's uh, interesting to play without it for a change. Yeah. Mm. I, I do like the reinforcement. I do like it. I'm, ooh, that was good. Great. Did you actually hit me there? Uh, where? There's a tank shooting at me. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, miss. I got lucky. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, what should I do about that? I, I'm really enjoying this to and fro, and this is how <laughs> multiplayer should be played. I, mm -hmm. I love live multiplayer, especially, it's it's quite fun. Uh, and especially with the observation stuff, just adds an extra hint of, I don't actually know where anything is. I've got to tread very carefully. Yeah. Oh, well, I, don't, I still don't know what it is. It's taking a... It's demoralized. That's good. He's now blocked the... Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. Them rangers are tough, though. Mm. Them rangers are tough, so... Yeah, I hid in a building, but I took a lot of damage. But now I can try to throw grenades at you. So... I oh, know I cannot, yeah, because it's uh, not an armored target. So I just need to shoot at you the old-fashioned way. You yeah, know? that, that Willy's Jeep's not bulletproof. Yeah... Uh, yeah, well, that's interesting. Well, let's try to kill your village chip. Oh, it does it get lucky? Oh, we get lucky! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, 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 pres it perseveres, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'll try to use my... Uh, Almost destroyed tank to sort of uh, get a hit against your tank, but I'll probably get punished punished for it later. Oh, <laughs> I've sneaked a couple of units forward, and I don't know if you've <laughs> seen them yet. I I'm quite interested. To see how well, and this I'm trying to be as sneaky as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and and how deadly some uh, anti tank guns positioned are. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, how this will work out. Just trying to get some position against your uh, uh, MGs because they are in uh, high vegetation. So it's like a good tile, but it's not the best. Uh, forest is still a little bit better. So, oh, I got Ooh. a little bit lucky. But, that was yeah. destroyed as well. Yeah. Uh, I got a question. Is there mm -hmm. a way to toggle wrecks so they can block roads? Might, uh, might. Sorry, be... tug, toggle what? Toggle wrecks. I assume you mean place roadblocks. Is what he's trying to say. Uh, so, to block no, road. no. You can only interact with the map uh, as it is. You don't build sort of new stuff on it. Uh, but yeah, you, 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 here you can only smash some roadblocks. Not. Place new ones, I guess. I'm assuming the bridges are indestructible. Uh, yeah, yeah, currently, yeah. Mm. 
because otherwise uh, map would you know be not uh, not really playable you would just get stuck on your sides of the river sort mm. of so there are some sort of gameplay purposes behind that because we really wanted to you know let everyone destroy bridges uh, but then we felt like it wouldn't you know it could render some maps unplayable basically is there, a, is, there is there actually a unit cap for the game? Um, well, uh, not really. In campaign, you are limited by the number of truths because you are just sort of replace them instead mm. of by new ones. Uh, but in multiplayer, uh, I get you could uh, get a pretty high uh, unit count. You see, artillery, like the HQ ability would be devastating in that center. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially, you know, if you get cover a lot of, uh, like, lightly armored units, then, yeah. One of my questions is, what is the... Um, so, as you get, like, I don't know what the artillery uh, square, the range is, you know, the barrage, what range it is, like, how many tiles it covers. What is, is there, a, is it a randomized generator of what tiles are hit, or is it just all based on the accuracy? Uh, well, you basically hit all tiles, but with certain accuracy. So, it's like making an attack against every tile within the, like, firing zone, but the outcome of each attack is different so you could only do some so even if you miss you damage morale so uh, the enemy loses morale in any case uh, oh i just lost it then uh but uh if you do hit you then do some extra damage to crew as well so yeah it is randomized but uh, you know at least you deal moral damage to all tiles and then you could do some extra damage uh, to the crew as well okay it wouldn't do much damage to units uh, in cover or like uh, uh, armored units usually but it, it got me I, yeah. thought, I thought i could machine gun them out but it wasn't gonna work yeah, you know, well, infantry in building or in a forest is quite tough, so uh, it's really um, hard to get out of there. And uh, it could be quite deadly even by tanks, especially if it's an infantry that has uh, anti-tank grenades, or e even uh, more deadly if it's like anti-tank infantry, you know, with uh, rocket launchers. It's quite devastating if they can get up close. So tanks are really well protected, but they need to keep distance uh, because mm. some infantry units could really do a number of them on them if the position is good. But uh, anti-tank grenades that infantry carries are uh, only effect like really effective if they are thrown from good cover. So if they are staying in the middle of the road, like on a plain field, it's like. Uh, they wouldn't do a lot of damage because it's hard to land a good uh, blow against the tank in the open. But if they are sitting in a house or in the woods, they can sort of sneak up on tank, let's say. So that's where we increase the sort of attack value of the uh, anti-tank, uh, m anti-tank weapons. I've got and the anti-tank rocket launchers, they are devastating in any case, but they have a limited range. So if you can get to that range, then you could do a lot of damage to any I've, armor. I've got a question, uh, and also probably uh, ask mm -hmm. some questions. Was there any, uh, like, in development of headquarters about, like, having place, being able to place mines or anti-personnel mines or anti-tank mines? Yeah, of course, we've considered that. But we were worried it wouldn't be, you know, let's say, fun to play. Because if you as a player can put a lot of mines uh, all around the map and the AI counterattack comes, uh, then uh, it would just spend a lot of time demining or being blown up by mines. And then uh, if you are attacking AI, you would have to spend a lot of time like mm. looking for mines, the mining, etc. So it would turn into some sort of sapper simulation, like, uh, you know, engineer squad uh, simulation or something. So we just felt that, you know, it would be not as, uh, not as interesting or exciting uh, to play in that case. 
So that's that's why we were uh, worried about that, and uh, we we didn't uh, actually find the way to, you know, to implement it and to have it fun and interesting to play, basically. What I find quite interesting, if you take the enemy HQ, I think is it is that an auto win if you lose your HQ? Uh, well, if we are playing one on one, then yes, you can see a primary objective, control HQs one out of two. So if you capture my HQ, you win. But if you play, if there are like four players playing against each other, like one versus one versus one versus one, then you can control two HQs and you can deploy at either HQ. So you could capture the uh, enemy HQ and then use it to deploy more units there and to attack a third player from there. I say. did notice that yesterday. I was going to say, I noticed mm -hmm. that you, you get an extra option to deploy them at another location. Yeah. Well, that's really good for games where there are more than two players, or if you are playing on a four players uh, map as a two players, and you know you want to try to uh, you want to try to um, get an extra HQ, like for example, for a four players map, both players could control like two HQs or something. Ooh, what's coming out? Oh, I was waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Some more direction. It's very different playing a human player. It just mm -hmm. you've got that. That, that other person has that instinct and that tactics that they're going to be using and you've got to try and counter it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. I really enjoy playing it, like when they are testing it internally and, you know, uh, as soon as we, we are sure that, you know, everything goes smoothly and there are no like critical issues and everything, uh, we would start running tournaments. So I invite everyone to play. Uh, we've been, you know, testing tournament system for a while. And of course it's uh, not live, it's played by email for now. Uh, but uh, for a tournament, it's really nice because it creates like a two mirror games. For example, in one game, you are like player one and another player, you are like same map, but it's reversed. Mm. So you can play both at the same time and like sending those turns back and forth. And it could be like really exciting and fun to play, you know, with some extra incentive, like winning a tournament or getting some high placing in it or something. So that's really, uh, you know. You know, Sliver are quite successful with their tournaments, and especially the field. I mean, yeah. for me, I play a lot of the Field of Glory tournaments. Uh, and yeah, you, you, you play mirror matches, a lot of mirror matches, yeah. which is exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I actually played uh, a couple of uh, Field of Glory medieval tournaments, you know, to better like understand how the uh, tournament system works and everything uh, when we were uh, designing it for uh, headquarters as well. So. Oh, I was trying to be very sneaky and it just backfired horribly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did a nice ambush on my troops on the bridge as well. So. They are in a in a bad spot right now. Let's say. <laughs> and I have no reinforcements or anything to drop on them. Oh. Yeah, you know it's uh, uh, it really um, makes you think. Like sometimes you have a unit to reinforce, and you sort of have to decide whether you do it now or whether you wait for some other unit to be like in a more critical situation where you would need. Uh, reinforcements even more. Don't stop. Move. Actually, you know, uh, we are uh, oh, uh, getting there in terms of some uh, victory points, so I'm more than halfway uh, through right now. Uh, Wish Kate has come on to the, uh, uh, the Twitch chat and mentioned about Control F, which I didn't know. Which I, I don't, uh, I don't actually know what Control F does. 
Uh, yeah, well, uh, I guess it's a uh, line of fire uh, hotkey. Is it? You have to explain it for us. <laughs> Show us where you need us. Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, do you see the red lines showing where you can fire? Uh, yes. Tank reporting. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Well, Control F is a fog of war. Sorry, I just. Oh, no, it's been a long day. So it's fine. It's, uh, fine. it's uh, fog of war, and you can toggle it. So Artillery fog of war shows area where you cannot see for sure. But if an area is not in a fog of war, uh, there may still be hidden enemies. Mm, I like that. So that's, a, that's a nice one. Fog of war is just showing where, like, it's blocked by line of sight, or you don't have any units uh, looking at there. So it's like locations where. You like have no idea what's going on there, but uh, in the areas that you can see, uh, then we compare like the cam the spotting of your troops and the camouflage of enemy troops, and then we look like whether they can spot them or not. Oh, this is this is completely game wide as well, so it's not specific to that one unit. It's for yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. Everything, it's, uh, or the... like it's combined for all of your units. Yeah, please. so it's combined uh, uh, yeah. intel, I suppose. I like that's nice. Yeah. That's... Sniper's ready. Need a ride. Okay. Reporting. Ready to deploy against enemy armor. Ready to begin reconnaissance. Scouting ahead. Oh, that poor Stuart did well. He did well. <laughs> Aye, sir. Ready to go. Uh, okay. Need a ride. On our way. Show us where you need us. No, uh, Sniper's ready. Okay, let's see what you do with that. Oh. Well. Let's uh, say goodbye to it's the gone. steward. It was gone. <laughs> so you had to clear the wreck on that bridge. There. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there were a couple on my way, actually. So, yeah. So I didn't move as much uh, as I could have with the tank. And now, if, evidently, that steward is now a wreck. Mm, yeah, and actually, infantry units, for example, they can uh, take cover and use wrecks, uh, you know, uh, as extra protection. So sometimes, if there is a clearing and you know, uh, you don't have any other cover, let's say, uh, it could be really beneficial to hide uh, behind some destroyed units as well. Ooh. <laughs> There's a couple of little uh, neat back alleys on this uh, map, which I didn't see until now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we designed the uh, multiplayer maps to be you know, quite tricky and allow various tactical options. So they are actually quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I see that you have a lot of units, but you need to try to push me out of some locations because I would win on victory points. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 Marika, I'm just scared now. You put the fear, <laughs> the fear in me now. Okay, we're gonna. Oh yes, because you can see, you can, you, you can when you click a unit, you can see all of the units that you can see or. At least yeah, but well, no, I, I don't see all of your units, but there is a primary objectives and it says like how many units I have to kill to, you know, sort of uh, fully eliminate another player. So it gives you like an overall information. Oh, so, it, it yeah. is. Oh, it is just a Sherman. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
His Majesty's artillery is here. Ready to go. Okay. Anti tank gun is ready. Tank reporting. Repositioning. Hidden enemy located. No, it's interesting how you can see like uh, another player seeing like some units and not seeing other units and it could be really tricky with all the ambushes and the hidden spots and everything. But it's a little bit like playing hide and seek, you know, it was like it was in real life. We were really, really working hard to zone this like spotting system to make sure that it this, allows this like tactical uncertainty where you try to guess like what the other... Uh, party would do and you know sometimes you would guess right sometimes you would guess wrong but uh, in, you, need, you really need to get a, get a good intel and try to locate enemy units before they find you so. oh it makes you think twice it really does because yeah. every building there there, there could be yeah. there could possibly be yeah. something in there yeah i'm trying to be as cautious <laughs> and not not too brash yeah, but you know, sometimes you just need to take the burn and sort of push forward, but you need to have some backup, like for example, if one of your units gets ambushed, uh, if you have a few more, you can sort of, you know, counter-attack and uh, destroy the attacker or the ambush, but if it's just one unit, it would just be overwhelmed and eliminated. So sometimes you need to gather like a small like tactical group, like group up a few units and uh, you know send them forward so that if one of them gets ambushed or killed, you can still attack with the rest and sort of deal some counter damage to the enemy party as well. Anti tank gun is ready. Need a ride. Okay, can I deal with this guy? Let's see what we get on him. Target barely hit. Squad ready. Leg it. Enemy sighted. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they're still alive in there. More squad. Report. Yeah. And you know, I sort of uh, didn't use my reinforcement on them just because I wasn't sure if I would need it elsewhere. So. Uh, you know, they are uh, holding out heroically uh, in that uh, meal over there. Scout vehicle standing by. By the way, you know, sometimes I, I, I just forget about some things. I've just, you know, looked at the, uh, like, windmill and, uh, you know, uh how it's like turning and everything and i was like well nice that you have it here <laughs> okay let's acquire that show us where you need us ready to deploy against enemy armor It's unfortunate really? that Sherman's in the best position it can be in because <laughs> it's just <laughs> I've got so much looking at that point. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I think we crashed, unfortunately. Uh, ah, yeah. Ugh, we did. Sorry about that, <laughs> folks. I don't know if we can reload that. Uh, no, unfortunately, I uh, cannot do that right now. But, yeah. Well, I think uh, it was like uh, I, I would win on uh, victory points I in a couple so. of turns anyway. Uh, so. that was do you want to play another one? Do yeah, we can do. Yeah, one? we can drop into one. Mm -hmm.
That was we want to do a different map, or uh, uh, do we uh, want to do something? We can do a different map. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just uh, just one okay. sec. Sorry about that, folks. Unfortunately, just uh, little things like, do happen with this. Uh, let me go. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we are really uh, so basically. Uh, I don't know like which particular issue uh, you had, but we are aware of uh, one uh, oh. problem that occurs uh, sometimes. So uh, we are already like testing a fix for that. So hopefully, we'll deliver it like in the middle. of uh next week so it couldn't be fixed really soon we'll go uh the, the uh royal chateau mm -hmm. by the way uh when it crashed did you press the send and close button i i think i did i yeah, can't remember because now, then, then, then we would get the full report like and we can check what exactly like the problem was and uh you know, make sure it's uh fixed soon okay that should be up for you mm -hmm. Yes, I blame you. Yeah, by the way, we can always see it on your live stream. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so. But it's good if you send report because it provides some extra details. So. I don't know if it will because I'm doing game capture. And I don't know if it picked up the log or not. But I'll, I'll check it. I can check yeah, it. Yeah, It'll yeah, be... maybe. Yeah, well, it, anyways. Yeah, let's, let's play another one. So do you want to play? Uh, you said you like Germany. Do you want to play as Germans? Uh, I, I don't mind. I put any. I don't mind which. I, I do prefer Germans, but I had a, <laughs> it should be up for you. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just joining. So, is there any more questions uh, in chat, or you know, any, um, anyone wants to ask me anything? Just, just, I just, just inviting everyone. Uh, yeah. to Not feel really. Free to if, do so if, you want. if you want to ask any questions, folks, just please feel free to drop them into the chat, and uh, we'll of course answer them as best as possible. There we go. Uh, oh, it's given me Germans anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's given me Americans, sorry. I do apologise. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, and I get the UK, so. Uh, we get another uh, allied battle <laughs> going on. They defeated Germans and, you know, decided to conduct some uh, military exercises. Train their troops, let's say. Remember, folks, trucks are important, majorly important. <laughs> yeah, if you want to win your first couple of multiplayer games against uh, inex like uh, not very experienced players, just you know, buy trucks and you're halfway there. See, I found in this position, if you take that middle objective and have a couple of units on uh, the one of the big one of the houses in the center, you can you can, you can see into the you can see into the enemy's uh, deployment zone. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, yeah, it, it's really useful. Uh, but you know, the central position is also hard to keep, sort of, because uh, you know. Uh, you would be under attack uh, from all sides, but yeah, if you can hold it, it's it's really powerful. But you know, here it's not so clear. Yeah, you could get a shot at the uh, enemy like HQ, but also um, if you can control the chateau. Uh, then it's like a large building which gives a lot of protection and it's uh, hard to sort of um, 
get rid of the enemy troop there. So uh, could be also nice uh, location to have under control. And then again, if you focus like on those locations, the enemy could grab sort of the other flank uh, almost for free. So, you know, you need to, uh, there are always some alternatives. Alexander, I've saw you bought rangers now twice quite instantly. Is this because they're a tougher mm -hmm. unit and they can take a bit more uh, damage before dying? Is that reason you take them instantly? Is that a tactic uh... of yours? Yeah, well, uh, they are uh, a good all-around, like, infantry unit. Uh, they are quite mobile, so they have, like, uh, uh, they, uh, like, have an extra move point, like, uh, considered to... Oh, yes. Yeah, so basically, they are they are having some, like, higher stats, so they are, um, um, you know, have a, a little bit better, like, attack value, and they have more morale, so they can sustain more uh, morale damage and they are good at storming like enemy infantry in close combat so they uh, and they potentially could attack armor in like adjacent tiles so they are overall just a very useful unit to have uh but you know uh i just usually start with them to sort of quickly grab some positions and then from there i reinforce them with some mortars you know some artillery some armor some extra units so beef up my force with various troops so they are like more of an advanced uh skirmisher scout mm. uh, like uh, you need to quickly grab some uh territory and then just sort of uh, defend it until more reinforcements arrive ready to transport orders received you know, it's usually assault infantry that enters uh, the enemy positions first, mm. so... Recon awaiting orders. Oh, and some, some other units can support them from afar, you know. Recon scouting. Oh, I can't see him. <laughs> Truck reporting! I'm trying to make sending the transports back a viable uh, tactic. <laughs> I don't know if no, it, is. it is a viable tactic, but uh, you know, I, sometimes you would also lose some drugs, but it's fine, yeah, I guess. I, you lose time in bringing the stuff to the front line. This is the only downside I see to it. You save a couple. Uh, of, you save what is it, fifty-five prestige for a a truck? Yeah. Well, I, I see where you're getting. No, I wouldn't do that. So for the first few turns, I would keep buying new trucks, so I wouldn't use the same ones like. Uh, at first but then once you have enough trucks you can start rotating them so for example when they already brought troops to the front and they came back then for some new troops you might not buy a truck but just use the ones you already have but until they've returned i'd rather uh pay for an extra truck you know okay, so... <laughs> oh, they took that. They're fine. Yeah. This is going to be classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, all right. Oh, it came off worse in the building. Yeah, I guess I got a little bit lucky, but... Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah. that's a lot of points. <laughs> so I'm now on... there is some assault attack, so it's just like a close combat battle. But your troops were already sort of a bit demoralized, same as my first unit. So the second fresh unit uh, had much easier time like defeating them in uh, close combat. Yeah, that was brutal. That was that was very brutal. <laughs> But you did get the center. And you do get to ambush my other uh, truck, let's say. Uh, okay, so this is a weakened car. Try to get some mortar fire on it. 
<laughs> nice. That's that, 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 Yeah. Well, uh, it did damage my truck, though. So now uh, I don't have a driver, only a second driver. So I'm uh, much uh, in a much. Uh, I do like forward, that. I do like uh, when you lose crew. Uh, you lose, mm -hmm. you lose, depending on who you lose, affects the overall mm -hmm. effectiveness of the vehicle. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, in this case, it was really, uh, well, in trucks, there is not so many options, but in a vehicle like a tank, uh, like uh, it's uh, much more control, whatever exactly you lose. Uh, okay, well, let's get a little bit in there. Oh, two ranger squads on that right. That was harsh. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I got lucky with one. Yeah, actually, you know, um, since it's like a large building, I tend to bring a lot of like infantry troops that are good for uh, fighting in like close quarters and like storming enemy positions because uh, it's like ideal place for the infantry combat, let's say so. As they are just, you know, storming the building and fighting with each other there because the rest of the map is more open. So it's uh, the left side, let's say, the left flank is uh, better for uh, tanks, let's say, mm. and the right flank is better for infantry. So, like, most buildings in the game are fully destructible, but the really large ones like six style buildings or more like cathedrals or chateaus they cannot be like fully destroyed they just you know get some light damage so you can see that it looks uh damaged but it's still like intact so yeah. you, you cannot like fully destroy it but there it's just a few really large ones uh, all else could be destroyed fully Oh, that's the best I can do. Does he get it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but I know you've dismounted your squad somewhere behind there. Yeah. Seems like I need to bring some extra uh, reinforcements to that area, so I don't get it. Okay, let's let's see what's going on there. Oh, he's just he's just waltzed in. <laughs> he's just waltzed in. <laughs> I'm curious, though. You took the... Uh... You took the middle uh, location and then you moved somewhere from there. Or? Well, it was my jeep. My jeep did a whole. Ah, that jeep, yeah, the yeah. jeep is really quick and mm -hmm. like, especially on yeah. this map. Like, I think probably yeah. with, with the Kubel yeah. wagon as well, you could possibly take mm -hmm. it in the second turn if you're unhindered. Yeah. If you're unhindered on this map, I think you can go straight for it. Uh, well, especially the player one position, mm -hmm. you go down that center right road and you can just. Yeah, that's that, that's true. Uh, yeah. I just was worried if you had some more troops there, you know, then I would be in a, in a tough spot. I don't know. Yeah, I think the Amer on the player two side, you can go down. Yeah, you could probably do the same with a Kubel wagon straight down there. I think it's. I don't know. Uh, if it, I don't know if the, it's more obscured to the enemy player or to me that a position. Just tell us where you need well, it's in the middle, but as a first player, you should, uh, you know, sort of appear there. But it depends, like, which side you are coming from as well. Transport on its way. 
Also, uh, I'm curious, why didn't you go for like the left flank uh, position as well? Because I didn't. I thought you had something which was about to push further forward. So I just, I just, mm -hmm. I, maybe I'm just playing a little bit too more cautiously than I should mm -hmm. be. I was a little bit like, mm, is there something mm -hmm. going to be there, or is it just me? Yeah, well, you did stop me from like getting there fast because you destroyed the truck, and I sort of had to retreat a little bit, but. Uh, I guess uh, you could have also sent some troops to try and take it as well for yourself. Oh, <laughs> I can see silhouettes. So those guys didn't have move points left, right? Uh, no, they did. One. Not as far as I was expecting, but yeah. I think they are. They are in a, in a really bad spot. You know, infantry in the open, it's really easy to kill, but in a building or in a forest uh, or even high vegetation, it's uh, much more difficult to uh, sort of uh, deal with it. So should be really utilized in a, you know, uh, in the right way and in the right place. I should have deployed them probably one square back in that vegetation at least before trying to push forward. Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, always uh, useful to try to occupy some more uh, protected locations, but sometimes you also don't have the luxury, sort of. So, yeah, it really depends. Mm. Okay. Well, let's see. If my APC can take the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's an anti-tank infantry. Oh, but it missed! <laughs> <laughs> it missed! <laughs> yeah, you know, like, if a unit moved uh, uh, quite uh, far away, it's sort of considered, like, uh, moving at some speed, so it's harder to hit it if it's just moved. It's a negative modifier for the yeah, shooting. Isn't yeah. it? Uh, but it's also negative modifier for each shooting, because it's also considered, like, shooting on the goal, so... You have like a uh, worse uh, aim, let's say. Oh. Oh, they are just tanking the shots. <laughs> uh, hello, Dizzy. Uh, uh, it, it, this headquarters is on Gog. That's correct, isn't it? Sorry? Is uh, headquarters on Gog as well? Yeah, 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 it is as well. As oh, well. And we are playing multiplayer. Uh... Well. I really don't like my chances against the snipers, to be honest. Uh, but I also don't want just... Okay, I'll try to shoot at your uh, anti-10 guys. Uh... Oof! Yeah, well, at least to do some damage to them. Yes. Nice! <laughs> Yeah, I'll just move back a little bit, nice. you know. That was per that was good. <laughs> that was a good move. I I, I consider attacking a scout, but I couldn't get close to them because I would hit Overwatch, and I couldn't fire at them because they are in a building and they would devastate me with return fire. So they would just, you know, shoot me in the open like a sitting duck. So I thought I'd just, you know, use my attacks to sort of harass the anti tank guys and back off. I could also rally my. Uh... Oh, actually, I have one more shot in my uh, APC, so I can actually put some. Uh, oh! Some <laughs> <in the> sniper. <laughs> ah! Tough yeah. it off. Yeah. Well, that 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 was uh, yeah. Sticking, that was tough. Putting the head out the window. That was all they're doing. Mm -hmm. 
that was yeah you know snipers are really good against infantry and uh, things like trucks like an armored targets but uh they are not not so good against the uh, armored units even if those are like lightly armored apcs or something okay uh, over to you tank at your service sir you heard the man I'm not entirely sure what shot me there but it wasn't nice <laughs> Just tell us where you need us, sir. Armor awaiting orders. Nice shot. Yeah, it was a good shot. Unfortunately, I can't. You see, for me, getting the jeep to the truck, maybe going to take the uh, take the objective, but unfortunately, it's wheeled, and that fence stops me uh, stops me pushing. What's the target? Sneaky, sneaky. Riflemen awaiting orders. <laughs> Recon awaiting orders. I think there's definitely an AT position somewhere on that left. <laughs> okay. Ready to transport. Oh, that's really annoying. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. Well, it's like not worth it. <laughs> it isn't worth it. No, not with them sitting there. Nope, I made the mistake as well. Well, it's not critical because you're in a building, yeah. but yeah. Ready to transport. Orders received. Ooh, that's got some good recon <laughs> now. Mm. Hear you loud and clear, sir. Tank at your service, sir. Yeah, well, uh, as you said, that building is really a good position yeah. to sort of control both like approaches to the central part of the map. Moving to new position. And it also can uh, like get some intel on your uh, starting locations or so HQ. I like that. That position is rather nice. Reload. Hit, but minimal damage. <laughs> Uh, where do we go from here? Just one second. Uh, okay, so let's see what can I do? Oh no, it's a tank! It's a tank! Yeah, it's actually, you know, it's a, uh, it's a regular, uh, oh no, you actually have Sherman Reno and I have Sherman Firefly, so it's a uh, oh. sort of, you know, <laughs> Sh Sh Sherman show. Do I get lucky? Well, you do have good armor, uh, but I do have good gun, so, you know, we are tightly matched here. I really liked that move on your right side, that where you push with the half track, jump the guys in reverse back and drop that outside. I did like that. That was that was a very well played. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I you know, I really hope that uh, you know, when uh all the players get to play more multiplayer, uh, they would invent uh, you know, a lot of interesting tactical moves and everything. So Really looking forward to learning something from from the players' community later down the road when, you know... I'm learning something from you knows. here. That's the main <laughs> thing. I'm learning something from you. It's one playing the computer, but it's definitely another yeah. another uh, thing playing uh, somebody else. Yeah, I, I would say it's uh, completely like a different uh, experience in general. And... Um, 
And yeah, and you know, uh, I would just advertise uh, the Discord channel. Uh, so there is a like Discord button in the game. You can press it and get to our like Discord, and that would allow you to find maybe some good opponents to play this. Uh, let's get some uh, armored units as well. Okay. Uh, wow, well, this has got to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely got to happen. Got a fix on their position. Oh god, that exploded. Did that get pushed? <laughs> it got but it, Oh, where's that wreckage gone? Tell us where you need uh... us. Rifle squad ready. Hear you loud and clear, sir. Transport on its way. Anti-tank reporting. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Miss the target. Trying to get rid of that guy uh, in the building. Okay. Okay. Moving out. Well, I guess you would better be off using some like uh, artillery or mortars, except with more high uh, explosive attack. Yeah, I would do if I, if my mortars were in range. <laughs> yeah, because AP is not 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 doing so well against uh, um, against oh, infantry. Oh, demoralize. That's all. <laughs> Oh, you're certainly giving me a run for my money tonight, but you also give me food for thought for next time I do play. <laughs> sure. Awaiting orders. Uh. Squad ready. Oh, what's the range of a bazooka? Oh God, it's not far. Armor awaiting orders. Oh, so it's a hundred percent on this firefly. I've got twenty-two for crit. So, what many pips uh, you got? I can't. I don't think I can destroy you, can I? Uh, sorry, with what? Uh, uh, which with, unit? With... with my Sherman Rhino. So, uh, firefly? Yeah, against your firefly. Uh, well, at the front armor, I'm not sure uh, because uh, I think Rhino doesn't have a. Uh, so, what does it show to you? Like, uh, what type of damage do you get? Uh, I'm looking at 22% 22 22 for a crit with two, uh, 51 for one hit, and I've got a graze as well for one, 27. Mm. It's range modifier, which is... Uh... So, sorry, which one was hit? Which damage for hit? Oh, no, I'm about to do it now. I'm just debating whether to do it or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope, it doesn't work. <laughs> just got to want... See if we get another one. Just two damage total there. Oh, well, if you are attacking your front armor, that's uh, that's probably decent, uh, depending on how much you get in return. Okay, uh, but I guess uh, my uh, Sherman is out of uh, out of attacks, right? Out of reactions, so you should probably try to attack it. Moving out. So do all vehicles have the res reverse? Um, uh, well, most of them, like all vehicles with uh, different armor planting on different sides and with uh, sort of, um, you know, uh, different turret, because uh, there are two factors. Uh, well, with, yeah, with, but basically, if you have same armor on all sides, uh, you don't really need the reverse uh, because it wouldn't matter where you get hit. But for uh, the armored vehicles where you have different armor, armor values for front, side, back, and top armor, uh, that's really important. So sometimes you would want to, uh, you know, use backward movement there. 
And even that uh, light uh, half truck, it was still um, had a bit different armoring, so uh, that was uh, you know beneficial for it. Oh. So do do you try attacking uh, Sherman? I I did. I I hit you to two. I think um, which was oh, was was av I... it was average. That was the the, mm -hmm. the two shots there. Oh, it disconnected you. Yeah. yeah, maybe some some problems on my side. Yeah, I've got a disconnect here. Mm -hmm. Are you back? Is it still on your turn, or is it is it have you switched to mine? Because I'm I'm back on my turn now. No, no, I maybe have some connection left, so. What's the Unfortunately, um, is there? Uh, so I guess uh, would need to run another one. Yeah, there we go, folks. That was all right. No, I was. Uh, I'll, I'll come out of this and we'll drop into another one. I was very. I'm very impressed with your tactics, uh, especially with them <laughs> rangers. They that really took me. That, that's took me by surprise a little bit. <laughs> so do you want to try a crossfire on the three hills? I'm assuming this would be a um if you have if, unless you put them on the same team, is this count as a free for all on there? Uh you mean like uh, having three players? Yeah. Yeah, well that's the map when you have like three players and not uh, like uh, not two or not four. So um yeah, it's balanced for for three players. Yeah, basically. we'll have a quick go of that. We've got about half an hour yeah, left yeah. of the stream. Yes. So Yeah, so I want to have a some quick dive at the uh three. Yep. So you you want a third player like uh AI or uh... We'll do one AI and we put me and you in there as well. Uh, I think how many turns do you think? Should we do turns or just... Um, we'll do... No, I guess victory points are fine. Yeah. They are basically the same, same thing if you're uh, set up some and, we'll, and we'll do 40. We'll do rally and reinforcement. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, hmm. Oh, sorry a second. Cross around the hills. Trying to think if I'm doing something wrong here. Let's come out of that a sec. Do, 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 do. AI, team two, team one. Let's just uh, turn time off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, Wesley, uh, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I think that's correct, but, isn't it? Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks good. So we have uh, AI as a uh, third uh, third player, basically. Yeah. So we could we should probably like uh, try to get hold of the AI um, uh, HQ and uh, try to use it for. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, yeah. So. Because I guess whoever controls two HQs would, would, would win eventually, so. Okay, I am British, it looks like. Oh, wow, this is a, ve oh, this is a very interesting map. Yeah, it's actually uh, one of my favorite, uh, especially because it's like really unusual or because of three players. So we have two British players and one German player. Yeah, I actually think I got German. See, I, I'm sitting here debating what do I, what do I, uh, in in a thousand point start game, what do you what do you buy straight away? What are your starting forces? Because I think they're thinking, is it two transports, two uh, well, paratroopers? I, I, 
I would usually get some, uh, like basically any infantry, uh, like a rifleman or a elite infantry or a, uh, with uh, three trucks, I would say. And then maybe save up something for uh, for the next turn. Well, usually I wouldn't do that, but if you don't have enough for any like uh, decent unit, it's better to keep it for, for the next turn. See, I quite like the armored cars, like the Jeep uh, and the uh, the Daimler for the British. Yeah, well, it really depends. Sometimes I would also uh, buy like one light uh, recon vehicle and then. Uh, basically one uh in, a, in you know in some uh, infantry with uh trucks as well so it really depends i will say i do like the animation of the animals in the paddocks <laughs> i've got to yeah. say that was a nice touch <laughs> yeah wow that dime lock can really move <laughs> but be careful not to run them over you know <laughs> Oh god, where, where, where do I put points? Where do I go for first? <laughs> Player one has the advantage of that, like, that plateau to the south straight away. Uh, well, uh, here each player has, uh, you know, uh, as a point uh, near his uh, starting location to control on a cliff, and then uh there are also a point for each which is closer and then there is a central point which is sort of like a point to battle for let's say transports are the key <laughs> <laughs> Turn now. Driving to coordinates. This is ours now. Fall in, moving to position. Need a ride? Moving out. By the way, uh, how is the game running on your uh, machine? Like, uh, is it smooth in terms of like performance and everything? It's it's pretty good. I I did I I tried it on my other machine, which has it's quite a good graphics card, but I only had eight mm -hmm. gigs of RAM. So I put it on my better machine with uh, with uh, thirty two gigs of RAM, and it runs a lot better mm -hmm. with that. But yeah, smooth, very for me, smooth. I think I only encountered maybe slight lagging when it when the you know the artillery barrage comes in. Mm, yeah. I, find, I find that quite intensive for my machine mm -hmm. but overall very, very smooth but like i said but i think more ram you have the the, the better for it really mm -hmm. yeah well we, we did test it on some like uh not so like advanced uh, pcs and not, not so much ram but then you you need to sort of be uh considered in terms of like graphic options and you know maybe turn everything down a little bit to make sure it works mm. if you have not the you know uh, higher on like medium and PCs or uh, uh, laptops. So. I think currently I'll just do this turn and I'll just see what graphics I've got it set at. Uh, so I've got it set at. Uh, ooh, where can I see it again? Video. I've got it at medium at the moment, oh. and, and it's it's very pretty for me for a medium mm -hmm. set at medium. It's 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 really nice. Oh. You can crank it up if you want. <laughs> I'm sure I can. I like. I will say I am gameplay over graphics massively. Moving mm. out. Okay, let's shift up there. Reporting. On our way. I don't want to invest too many points in a small tank just yet. <laughs> <laughs> what graphics card do you have? 
Oh, I don't know off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's not bad mm-hmm. from what I run. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I've been spotted. <laughs> So instantly you've dismounted. Mm-hmm. Your tr- I, c- I can't see that they've been dismounted, mm-hmm. but I heard I heard <laughs> yeah, them be dismounted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, a puma. I can certainly see that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Ooh, the bulletproof truck. <laughs> Does he get away with it? Oh, <laughs> it does. That's perfect because now you have the unit of infantry in the woods that can recon. Uh, by moving the puma back into safety so you can now adjust to what you want to do in your next turn yeah i just thought you know i i don't know what troops you have there and so on so i tried to dismount and sort of hide in the woods and see what you can bring forward and then decide what to do with that Our turn now. okay Okay, let's. Ready to go. Oh, okay. Let's see what this happens here. Now. Need a ride? Driving to coordinates. Reporting. Moving out. I see. Do I really want to waste the reinforce on a truck? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Maybe you don't. But then you are stuck with a uh, not so effective truck, and if you do, you may lose some other unit later on. Fall in. Need a ride. Ready to begin reconnaissance. Paratroopers standing by. Reporting. Uh, Wish just said. Uh, uh, I want to see a pink puma or panther secret weapon of the Third <laughs> Reich. <laughs> well, I guess we could accommodate that. Ready to go. Fall in. Oh, has the AI done anything? Mm. I, I haven't haven't seen it so oh, far. Oh, it has taken an objective where I am. Oh, that centre objective is a little bit... It's a bit of a nasty position to capture because from my point of view, you've got a really good point to look over it. But also well, my I, point... Uh, I guess everyone has. I don't know if I Or can... you mean because of trees? Like... Yeah, the trees. I don't know if the trees block mm-hmm. line of sight from mm-hmm. where I am. Mm-hmm. But where mm-hmm. you're from on that... From your position, you're, that where that ridge is, you can look over that mm-hmm. objective. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, you are the first player, you know. 
That's true. That is true. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> but this is where I need the mortar teams. Where I need the uh, uh, the priests to start bombarding these to push these troops out, and for my own troops to push forward here. Yeah. Because now you know where that Daimlar is, <laughs> and you can adjust your puma to however you want to do this yeah i'm is trying there... to do it in one uh, another thing i thought about is there mm -hmm. a um a, in development possibly to put a timer on turns yeah there is an option in the uh i didn't i miss i must have missed that i just thought yeah. a, good, a good question okay well, here goes the pink puma attack. Um, oh. Let's see. I don't know where it's going to oh, come your, from. Your, your, your Daimler is, uh, you know, positioned uh, quite well. Uh, so... I said that about my snipers in the previous game, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he's going to take... Oh, okay. <sighs> I'm going to try to do something tricky here, so <laughs> let's just... Okay, there is one more unit here. Well, that's a nice ambush. Oh, that, that was the best ambush I've had in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm happy the, uh, I'm happy the Dime Lord didn't take the reaction fire. That's the point here. Is the, the reaction fire didn't come from the dime, it came from the uh, the paratroopers. Yeah. Wish might be uh, uh, coaching me from the Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's doing a great job. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, let's see what we can do about that. Um... I didn't know if your puma could... Oh, no, we can't go behind the... I was just seeing if there was a way behind the woods uh, where on the right side of the paratroopers. Well, it's... Oh, it's is it? <laughs> it's pink. Can, can you see? Can you it's see pink. Pink full glory? It's full glory. Oh. <laughs> <mwah>. <laughs> Beware enemies of the yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All hail. Yeah. All I can see, all I can see is the truck driver behind this building going, "Oh, I'm glad I'm not in front of that building." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was rather nasty. Uh, oh, and he finishes them. Uh, that was nice. Yeah. Well, let's let's move back a little bit. And see what else you could do. It's it's done really well. That puma's done really well. But it's doing what it is. It's 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 that's one of my favourite scout vehicles. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a scout <laughs> it's a scout gun with an anti tank weapon. Is it a med oh there's two of them? <laughs> there's two of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh they do well. <laughs> it's, uh, Wish says, "If you uh, a secret, if you paint it red, it will add speed to your vehicle." Are we, is that a Warhammer forty thousand reference by any chance? <laughs> do, yeah. do troops move a couple of extra inches. Uh... <laughs> That's quite uh, quite yeah. hilarious. That I think that was actually a rule for orcs. I'm sure. I don't know if it still is a rule, but I'm sure that has been a rule. <laughs> yeah. Good old days of like seventh edition Warhammer Forty Thousand. Yep. Oh, I can do diddly squat about them pumas. <laughs> I can do this though. <laughs> well, that's very cruel of you. <laughs> My pumas work so hard to get uh, those uh, paratroopers down, you know. All their work is wasted. Thanks standing by. 
Here we go. Oh my word, the British player has several tanks mill milling around now. More squad. Yeah. Uh, I can see some unit near the on, on the uh, cliff basically. Moving out. Reporting. On our way. You see, uh, another question I had uh, from last night's stream was uh, hotkeys for the um, for the map editor. Just point me where mm. to go. Uh, it... yeah. Sorry. Is there is there any hotkeys for the map editor? Yeah, I don't think there are. Uh, they are uh, in there currently, but it's something we can uh, you know. Uh, look Ready at uh, in the future as like quality of life improvements and stuff. Because what I felt difficult was were was turning roads to different directions. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I could guess so. Yeah, I think that's something we could definitely add later on. So, yeah, that's a, uh, a good thing to uh, to be added. Moving to new position. Oh, you can get really finicky about these squares when you think about it. <laughs> okay, I think that. Paratroopers standing by. Oh, okay, this is risky. Keep up, boys. Ready to go. Fall in. Need a ride. Driving to coordinates. Oh. Moving out. That's the computer player. Mm -hmm. So did you already engage these forces? Yeah, he's got a couple of armored cars milling around that I'm gonna have to do deal with mm -hmm. something. Oh. <laughs> I can see a couple of sneaky trucks out here, you know. No, the wounded truck. <laughs> you know, um, wouldn't it be fair to allow you to grab the uh, central point with uh, so little uh, forces, I would say. Oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh. I guess I'm oh. here. Here is where I use my reinforcement. But I don't really want to engage that gun, <laughs> to be honest. But I've also found some other target. Did the givers go to the gap? Nope. <laughs> oh, that was a lovely shot with that anti tank gun as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just where's that other puma gone? Now you've distinguished between two uh -huh. pumas. I know yeah. there's a normal. You need to make them both pink. <laughs> make them both pink, so I think it's the same one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good. Oh, I think so, one thing puma is more than another. So, so what you could do is start switching the colours to confuse yeah. your enemy player of which puma it is. That's a tactic now. So just switch yeah. the switch the colours each turn. So which which is the pink puma? It will never die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like better <laughs> like than immortal immortal troops, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a valid tactic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little tanky. 
Oh, I didn't realise you just took the objective, but then also vacated back at the same time. And I've noticed the goats, unfortunately, dying in that paddock at the same time. <laughs> an, unfortu yeah, well, an unfortunate cost to war. Yeah, war is tough on everyone. Archer, no. The animals. Ugh, that was a bit harsh. To tank reporting. Ready to begin reconnaissance. Uh, uh, well, that wasn't very war nice. Well, I guess we'll have to do this. Artillery standing by. Not even close. Oh, come on, fifty six per cent. Oh, demoralized though. Mm -hmm. Ready to transport infantry. Let's get these troops moving. Tank ready. Reporting. Tank standing by. Okay. Ready to go. Understood. Moving. Moving to position. Tank reporting. Repositioning. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, that would have been a hard blow. Yeah. But it's probably hard to hit uh, Puma after it's spent all movement because it's quite fast. Yeah, there's a. Uh, what's, the, what's the movement? Yeah. And your tank also moved, so. Uh, not so good for accuracy, but. Yeah. Did hit it in the end. Oh, we just take the damage. Paratroopers standing by. Keep up, boys. <sighs> Understood. Moving. Yeah, it's quite vulnerable, so it's uh can be um, quite if, uh, effectively attacked with 80 grenades yeah. even in the open. Ready to go. Not enough though, unfortunately there. Mm. Moving to position. I did all I could. Mm -hmm. yeah. never Fall in. More squad reporting. Need a ride. Paratroopers. Oh, well, you did some damage to mm. it, so. That was really, I, I really was impressed with your mobility of that of the uh, pumas there that was very impressive <laughs> yeah they... they are really nice but they also don't have a lot of protection so if they get in a tough spot they would but but they have a decent gun so Th that part is good uh... can the puma clear, clear wreckage oh uh, yeah I was hoping that Sherman would at least knock that first Puma out. <laughs> oh. This is going to be murderous. Oh. <laughs> I 
No, you did get one. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so now they are fleeing, and the next attack is guaranteed kill because they are like fully demoralized. So they would be routed. Mm. So I guess I would just finish those guys off and try to fall back with my Kuma. So what, um, how much morale do you need to lose to get demoralized and then well, demoralized, the, demoralized is like halfway, so you don't overwatch any longer and you can't attack on your turn, but you can still return fire if you're demoralized and you still have some morale. But if it's, uh, if it's down to zero, your unit starts to flee. And then, uh, if it it's attacked one more time, even if the attack is a miss, it would be a route, basically. So the rally gives fifty points back. If I is it fifty yeah. points of uh, morale? Yeah, it's fifty points. Well, most units have a hundred morale, but it could be boosted with uh, like level up skill, and also uh, as, like assault infantry has a hundred twenty five. So for them, it's not a half; it's like fifty. Uh, okay, let's see what nice units we could get. Mm. Uh, another pink puma. <laughs> I think you can afford a pink panther by now. Yeah, why not? I actually got ambushed by the AI. Oh, it has, uh, yeah, has a couple of recon cars. Ooh. Oh, it was just a jeep. I, I couldn't actually see what that was yeah. until you destroyed it. Uh, it was a uh, basically a scout jeep. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, well, we know where they are. But annoyingly, uh, with all the uh, with all the crew down on that mortar, it's not firing it as effectively, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. His Majesty's artillery okay, is here. What can we target? Missed. That sexton does not Back have very by. much to shoot at. Here we go. Uh, Monkstrap just mentioned a comment. So, can a jeep uh, clear the wreckage of a tiger? Well, uh, I guess technically yes, because we didn't want to overly complicate the game. And, you know, well, uh, since it's a wreck, maybe it could, you know, somehow drag it bit by bit or like, you know, maybe drag some parts out of the way. So we don't really want to. So we already have several skills where, for example, units have different profile, they don't have different sizes. And depending on that, they interact differently with uh, walls and obstacles and all of that. And it's already could be confusing sometimes. So uh, making uh, a lot of different tracks and different unit types that can clear different tracks, it would be super confusing. Like you wouldn't know for sure when you can and when you cannot clear a rack. So we decided against uh, sort of, you know, splitting it into, you know, a lot of different uh, variants for that. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that building's still uh, standing. <laughs> yeah, it took quite some damage. I'm looking forward to play more of an urban game to see what it looks like. Uh, sorry, to play what? Like an urban game, like more a bit a city fight. I can yeah, imagine it's a lot more interesting. Yeah. 
Ooh, ooh, what is that? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hello, Yog Dog. I think we are near time, uh, Alexander. Yeah, let's uh, just fit some up. So, uh, how many minutes do we have? Uh, good about five minutes. I'm sh yeah, okay. we, we, we can take a little bit of extra time, Yog Dog says. You can come and storm that position. Hello. Yeah, well, let's do it. Well, there is some AI action. He's shooting at my shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's shooting at me. Oh, he's coming to. I'm not entirely sure what he's got there. Tank ready. Okay. Uh... Anti tank gun is ready. Tank standing by. Repositioning. Nothing but air. More squad ready. We'll get him with the next shot. Thank you. Tank reporting. By the way, if someone wants to play some uh, PBM game or maybe even some live game, just you know, ask on Discord, and I'm sure you'll find someone to play with. I mean, uh, I'll also maybe jump in a game or two if I have the time. So, and I'm sure there are a lot of other players out there to play with. So. Uh, give it a try, give it a go. Oh. Irritating that I didn't do as much damage as I wanted to. Alright, I'll let you play your last turn. Come mm -hmm. and storm that objective. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay. Uh, let's see uh, what have we got in here. So, uh... <laughs> okay, I can see your uh, APC. Oh, actually, I got overwatched. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have some uh, troops there. Um. So we need to finish like uh, really soon, right? Uh, in the next few minutes, okay. not, not too much of a rush. Okay. Oh. oh, how did that? <laughs> Just <laughs> bulletproof <laughs> Opal Blitz. <laughs> This yeah. is where naval artillery or artillery mm -hmm. bombardment would be absolutely handy. Mm -hmm. It would stop you grouping troops like this. Yeah. Uh... Oh, the vast German armor. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I'll just do some quick turns here. Our turn now. Okay. I tried to sneak up on the AI base, but it found my forces, so they are in a tough spot there right now. Okay, uh, how can I be Ready annoying? Oh, that smoke was rather good. <laughs> Right, it's just going to be risky, like mega risky. Here we go. Hidden enemy located. Repositioning. They're in a jiffy. Tank reporting. A passing hit. Okay. Nice job. Artillery ready. Not even close. Oh. I repeat, target destroyed. Paratroopers standing by. There they are. Tank ready. Here we go. 
That smoke, so effective. <laughs> so amazingly effective. You, you mm -hmm. can't believe how much that obscured mm -hmm. most of my line of sight. Mm -hmm. For... Oh, the flam panzer! <laughs> yeah. Trying to get some sneaky flame attacks uh, against some of your units. But it's not good against front armor. I needed to get behind or something. Oh, so the plan that... didn't work out that well. That was very nice. But those, uh, yeah, those Puma overwatches are pretty out. Uh, not so bad. Oh, <laughs> he just, he just loves it. Mm -hmm. okay. But I have some big tank coming up, so we can play just one more turn. So I could. Yeah. We can do that. Okay, mm -hmm. back to you. Oh, it's mm -hmm. it's gonna be a pink mm -hmm. panther. I'm sure it is. <laughs> you ready, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just put a scratch. Uh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Nice. So has that panther gained more morale than it started with? Because I saw it gained six morale there. Uh, Does it max out a hundred, or would it go over for that when it gains morale like uh, that? Yeah, it's maxed at hundred. I will try to use uh, hand grenades to attack your tank from from the house. So you, as you can see, even like damaged infantry could be quite. Deadly to um, those. Um, well, I am not. Oh, it's that stuff. Let's reinforce. Uh, Ooh, nice crit. Uh, Does he get him? Yeah, no, I, I, I had to reinforce it. Oh, so. you did. Yeah. I think that reinforced. I think that reinforced could be quite vital at certain points in the battle, or trying to get a tank forward or infantry forward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why uh, it, it's really useful, and it's really, uh, you know, it, to new players it may sound a little bit, you know, uh, unrealistic to get in those reinforcements there fast. But uh, when you play the game, you understand that it plays quite well, and if someone really don't like it, they can always play without it. So. It's uh, not a big problem. Over to you. Oh, the computer player is now going to punish me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we have just about run out of time yeah. there tonight. I want to say thank you to uh, Alexander for coming on to the stream tonight and playing a game, a multiplayer game of Headquarters. Uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to check it out on Steam. Um, it's been amazing tonight uh, playing a multiplayer game, seeing all the aspects of the game, you know, and also the tactics that are involved with playing against a human player. It's been, it's been really well. Any final comments, Alexander, before we go? Yeah, well, I hope everyone uh, who's going to play Headquarters uh, enjoys the game. And, you know, feel free to reach out to us, uh, to the dev team on Discord, on uh, Steam community. We are always happy to answer, uh, you know, happy to speak with you, to hear your suggestions, ideas, thoughts. And, you know, maybe even uh, play a game or two sometime. Yeah, if you don't, if you if you guys are on the uh, Discord, go find the Headquarters channel. I think it's on the Slytherin um I think it's on the Slytherin website, but go join the um, join the Discord. You know, play some multiplayer games. It's really fun. It, the game really hypes up with competitiveness and, of course, you know, tactics, as you can see on the left side here. All right, there we go, folks. Thank you very much. Like I said, don't forget to uh, follow Headquarters on Steam. You know, go and purchase the game as well. And I will uh, take care and hopefully see you in the next coming weeks. All right, Bye, take, everyone. Take care, folks. Thank you very much.